Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, you know, cross-country team just wrapped up with a great season, finishing up at Nationals with Langston and Pat, and a lot of those who are at the Regional Meet 2 are still continue on to train to try to see if they can pop a pretty good performance going into the winter break. Uh, you know, we don't have as many dual sport athletes this year. We're actually having more track and field athletes here just doing the one sport, which is great. Um, but, you know, you have a couple like JT Klopchek, um, you have Aaron Holiday, who are coming and joining us from football and soccer. And for them, you know, they had a week or two off and a lot of them, you know, they wanted to just jump right into it because you're just used to it and that's part of the routine. Um, and then the rest of the group has been doing a really good job with their fall training and just transitioning in, not really missing a, a beat or a skip to coming into this season. So I'm really excited for the men. It's a new chapter for us. And, you know, obviously we lost Devontae Williams. He has his four years and he's now gone. Um, some people look at me like I'm crazy when you say, not necessarily that we're not going to miss him, but we have such a deep, talented team, especially on the men's side, that someone's going to step up and take his place, and then we're just going to domino effect there. You know, the person who was behind Matt Riggins last year is now going to take him from Matt Riggins. So we're really excited about that. Um, on the women's side, obviously, Danica qualified for nationals last year for indoor and outdoor. Um, with the growth and development and uh, the depth of the women's team, we're going to see a lot of new faces step up. Um, we're going to see, you know, the Kimberly Hammonds, Deion Hicks really make their name on the national stage this year as well. Across the board, man, this is track and field, so we're just really, really excited about everything. Uh, you know, we kind of have what we do, our fantasy track and field amongst the coaches, you know, who we're excited to see. And we're just, across the board, you know, Curtis McInnes, we're really excited to see throw the weight this weekend. Uh, we added a really talented thrower, Maurice Johnson from New Jersey, who's going to really add to the shot put on the men's side. Um, on the men's jump side, you know, we have a lot of depth. Last year, you know, we had Adam DiBogati and Kenneth Scott Keeley on Steve Sneed. We got a couple of freshmen who are really going to jump up there. Uh, added a couple of multis on the men's side. And the same thing on the women's side, too. You know, we just added a lot of depth to the sprints. Uh, we added Shanika Royal and uh, Shari Perez from Puerto Rico uh, to help out with our sprints. Jordan Mitchell's helping out with the jumps. Uh, so it's just really exciting to see some of these new faces that are actually coming in this year and see what they're going to be able to do. Uh, the nice thing is a little bit of everything. The nice thing is, especially on the women's side, we now have depth so we don't have to have our women do three, four, five events at meets. We can actually spread them out a little bit, let them become specialized in some of their events. Obviously on the men's side, it gives us a lot of different options in the sprints and um, throughout in our relays. So it gives a lot of our athletes a break so that they're not the only ones who have to score points all the time. Obviously with that, there comes a lot of competition. You know, there's only 55 spots on a bus and we have 80 kids on our team right now, so we're, we're gonna be leaving people home sometimes. Uh, but the nice thing about our sport with the way we train, you know, it actually is built-in breaks. And this team works extremely hard, and for how talented they are to be able to endure and go through the hassle of traveling to different places, waking up at five o'clock in the morning, this is a really tough team, and I give them a lot of credit for, you know, believing in our program, believing in the university to compete for us.